This painting was done by Jordan Senarens, a current student attending here at UCF. It is a combination of two surrealist paintings that emphasizes an optical illusion. In this painting, many visual components are expressed through the usage of line, shape, color, movement, and more. One of the first components that can be noticed is rhythm. When viewing the tree, one might notice the textual rhythm of the bark as well as the placement of the trees themselves, giving the painting not only depth but a realistic flow. In reference to depth, the woman's hand is a prime example. It is clear that the woman is standing in front of the trees to her left, yet her hand disappears behind the second one. This also plays into the optical illusion of this surrealist painting. Another example of the usage of depth can be noticed in the background where the woman stands in front of the tree. However, as the tree goes up, more of her body moves behind it. It also may be noticed that the tone of the woman are used as a median between the brightness of the background and the darkness of the trees. An additional element emphasized in this painting is the usage of lines as well as shapes. Because of the contrasting tones of the foreground and background, some of these lines become more dominant than others, such as the edges of the trees. The solid line that runs up and down the tree also helps give the shape closure. Finally, one of the last observations that may be made about this painting is the switching of negative and positive space. The negative space becomes the positive space when it moves in front of the woman, changing the background to the foreground, and like the woman herself, it plays into the optical illusion.